what up what up guys uh, welcome back to the channel today we got this 2012 range rover evoke now i don't know if you guys ever had this kind of issue where there's a whole bunch of water been leaking under your car and you're trying to figure out what's going on with it i actually had two of these issues recently right uh, one in the northern part of the country and the other part one in the south now um it i understood that what was going on was the heater core let me open the hood right here real fast we'll take a look right so it was just popping up on the dashboard every time saying hey uh, coolant is low coolant is low it was a consistent thing with the coolant right so of course came in checked the coolant the coolant level was low so what i did was i take it to a mechanic uh did uh, actually i i did also ask to take it to a mechanic on the other car also the first mechanic says two thousand dollars to replace the heater core on this range rover the second mechanic says we can do it for a thousand the part is only 150 bucks but then i figure it was really expensive you know thinking about you know putting a thousand dollars now when you have to replace the heater core in this car the dashboard needs to come out you have to pull the dashboard out is what i was told in order to replace the heater core because what i did was i went in I remove this cap, right? Then I remove the other plug here. Then I take that put this cap out. Make sure we don't lose those. Now I went back here and I looked on the other side. I also take this piece out. And then I went under the car. I had the car in the air down at one of my local mechanics. And then we were looking to see what was going on. You know, I never realized all the hoses that goes inside that goes into the, the dashboard area you know they were all clean then my mechanic said hey the problem you have with this car is the heater core the heater core is no good now the heater core is so there's a wall here and it goes so the heater core is actually behind the dashboard right so the mechanic says that this has to come out in order to get to the heater core that's the reason why the book is saying it's nine hours worth of labor in order to do this job so i decided man that's too much you know why would they even put a heater core that far of course maybe there's no other space but whichever way i didn't want to do that job right i prefer to sell the car is what i was thinking so what i did was i went to my local auto parts store as i've always done and there is a product that i used before so i said okay i'm going to try it in this vehicle and see if it worked so what i did was i went in and i bought this piece from our local auto parts store right it says right there heater core stop leak it's like a liquid metal this is actually the exact one i use right now because this car is a four cylinder engine it's only you can only put half of this in it right so you pour half inside your coolant reservoir let's open that right there you open this and you pour half inside a coolant reservoir right of course it was empty so once i pour half inside of it then i pour and pull the coolant back up pull it all the way back up to the line to the levels don't overfill it then i start the car now i had the car running for about 45 minutes non-stop then i drove the car around because you have to circulate everything right let's go from the radiator all the way around to the heater core pass by the transmission it does this whole process right so the whole idea is to have this circulation going circulation going so we drove it for an hour after an hour we said okay uh everything started to dry back up right because a week ago all of this area under the car was all nice and wet it was nice and soaked all the way to the back now since we placed this in it has been a month right it's been one month no leak no leak whatsoever the other car that i'm talking about that is down in florida that particular car you know the same liquid was placed inside of it you know on two weeks ago no leak so if you guys ever had any problem with the um heater core when you start to smell things inside the, the vehicle when you turn the heater on and you start to have a leak all over the place just like what i just poured on the floor you know you might want to try this product out before you go spend two thousand dollars and replacing a heater core like i said this is the third vehicle i've tried this on and so far so good first one was about three and a half four years ago and it's still holding in place now this one is just recent like a month ago and the other one down 
in the southern part of the country. So we're dealing with different temperature. Here's about 20 degrees in the north. So it's cold up here and it's still holding. And down in the south is about 70, 80 degrees and it's still holding. So let's see how it goes. List that. I hope this helped you out. But like I said, this is one of the first steps I would take. If you feel like there is too much inside after you pour, after it seals up, you can drain the liquid out the radiator. And after you drain the liquid out the radiator, you can refill it again. You know, just if you don't want excess of, you know, an excess of this, uh, you know, cooling system. But as you can see right here, it says extreme cool. You know, it stops leak. It does all this great stuff. And it's, you know, stop overheating. I didn't have any overheating problem. Just a leak. And so far, so good. All right. So I hope this guy, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, it's something to try. You know, it's because this thing is only about nine, ten bucks a bottle compared to a uh, $1,500 job on the um, Range Rover to replace the Kita 4. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one.